Welcome back to The Merge. Let's talk about the pinch, guys. So the pinch is something I learned the end of my junior year wrestling in college from one of my coaches. Shout out to Coach Trebelli. So really, I only had one year, my last year in college, to utilize this, and it was a complete game changer for me. If you struggle holding your opponent down in referee's position because they come up with a really explosive stand-up, you guys got to use this technique here. So my opponent's going to be out of referee's position, and it doesn't matter if you get the takedown, you go out of bounds, or the referee flips the coin. As your opponent's setting up here, right, you have those three to four seconds where you're able to see how your opponent lines up, right? And you can see right now his toes are tucked underneath him. If he puts his, uh, the top of his feet straight to the mat, this is not going to work. You're not going to do this. Not that you can't pinch from here. It's just you're not going to get a tight bite, okay? So once again, he's going to tuck his toes underneath him. As I go to line up, okay, hands going to the elbow here, right hand's going to the belly button. I'm going to not have his leg so far up and away from his ankles from here, okay? I'm gonna have this knee kind of coasting right by his ankles, just maybe a few inches from touching, okay? Now I'm gonna tap his belly three times. He's gonna stand up, okay? So look, one, two, three. He pops up quick, right? Very explosive. So I'm gonna stop that by pinching his, uh, his feet and his legs with my knees, okay? I'm gonna do the same kind of tap, ready? One, two, three, right here, look, now, his feet are pinched, he, got, he gets stopped in his tracks from here. What I would do from here, right, once this is trapped, I start leaning my weight forward, so he posts down to his hands again, and now I'm gonna transition right to his spiral ride. So my right hand's gonna go inside the leg from here, flare it open as I punch out this opposite arm here. So my opponent lines up, toes tucked underneath him, right? Now I'm gonna utilize the pinch. Get lined up, right, here. Hand to the elbow. Other hand to the belly button here, right? I'm gonna bring this leg closer, right? I don't want to touch. The ref's probably gonna call you out from here. You also wanna be a mile away, because you got a pinch. So he's gonna save you an extra half second. Bringing that leg close to the ankle. All right, three taps. One, two, three, pinch. Weight goes forward, transitioning right to his spiral right. So the last detail I wanna talk about, thumb up on the elbow here, okay? This way is correct as well, but a lot of times my breakdowns, especially when I'm going to a spiral ride, is gonna require you to come on the inside here. When you're thumb up, my four fingers are already on the inside. It's a quick transition in. When you have the four fingers to the outside, it's just an extra split second of bringing his hand in, which is gonna make a big difference with a very good wrestler, especially if they're very explosive with the stand up. So, thumb up, lining up, one, two, three, pinch, lean that weight forward, pop up, spiral ride. Break your opponent down.